Wait, 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 wait. Wait, baby. <laughs> I'm not prepared when I... I'm not prepared to an hour shoe. Okay, baby, what is the word for today? <laughs> <laughs> and that's enough taller, my sister. And that's enough taller. No, wait, I'm not prepared. Uh, uh, you're prepared. <laughs> Say it. Word for today. There's something that is ringing. Please stop that thing that is ringing. Um, the word for today is trust the process. Trust the process. We are currently on um, a journey of watching Moses and also reading the book of Exodus. And if there's one thing that I've learned, so so we are watching documentary Moses on, is it on Netflix? Mm. On Netflix and also reading on the Bible Hebrews, you know? And if there's one thing that I've what? learned, Bible? Exodus. Oh, I thought you said Hebrews. That's what you said. Yeah, I said Hebrews. Yeah, I made a mistake. We're reading Exodus and we are now on chapter 11. Mm -mm. Nine, I think. Uh, we passed nine. I think ten. We're going okay. to ten. Next. Nine, ten. Ne? And if there's one thing that I've learned, it's to trust the process. In this case, I will say, trust God. When, when God says, my child, this is where I'm taking you. Unfortunately, you don't just wake up in the destiny. You still have to walk. You still have to pass Abu Faro. You still have to pass the Red Sea. You still like you will go through it before you actually reach the destination. But the power is in trusting God when He says, I'm taking you there. You must know you're going to pass so many traffic lights. You are going to hear so many noises. People are gonna discourage you. But where are you going? Who in your family has ever made it? Where do you like what's gonna happen? Why? Why? So it is up to you to either give up or trust the word of the one that says, I'm taking you there. It might take a long time to get there, but Oksalao is trusting the word that says, or trusting God that said, I am going to get you there. It's just like the same thing that happened with Sarah and Abraham when God said, uh, I'm going to give you a child. And they could either wait on the Lord or they decided to say, no, listen, actually, there's a better way that we can actually have a child. You sleep with the maid. And the child actually was born, you know? But then when the actual blessing came about, they had already ruined a lot of things and they were already now another child. So my point is that you will reach the destination, but let's be in control of what happens when we are still on the way. You don't want to get to the destination already. You are stressed already. You've got a lot of stuff. So if God says you're going to be a mother one day, trust him. Don't be going to consult places that you're not supposed to consult to. When God says, I will give you a job, don't now go and start bribing, sleeping with the bosses, doing one, two, three to get through that job. Wait on him. You don't have to assist God. Be still and know that is God. That is my word for today. Amen. Okay. Uh, we could deal. We could deal, my sister. Bye-bye. Sure.